Hello, Storelytics user. Hope you're having a great day. Today, we're going to be looking into the Battery Profile Creator, or BPC, module of Storelytics version 1.0. We would also like to mention that in previous version of Storelytics Battery Profile Creator, or BPC, module was referred to as need-based module. Battery Profile Creator in Storelytics allows users to generate battery energy storage charge and discharge profile for a specific energy storage application, considering various parameters and constraints specified by the user. For example, in case of peak load shaving application, BPC can be used to determine the power and energy requirement for a user-specified load profile. It also provides relevant analytics regarding the battery dispatch profile in a report and generates output profiles for further analysis using Battery System Modeler. To use BPC module of Storelytics, please launch Storelytics either through a shortcut icon on your desktop or through the Windows Start menu. Storelytics by default launches on Battery System Module Interface and we can get to BPC from BSM interface by clicking on Battery Profile Creator. Before I go into details of various features and how to use BPC module, I would like to mention that details about BPC can be found on the help documentation that can be accessed by clicking Help and Help Documentation. Also, there are various tutorials available on your Storelytics YouTube channel that can be accessed through help and tutorial videos. Today, we are going to look into an example of using BPC to create a battery charge and discharge profile for a peak load shaving application. In this, we are going to look into the peak load shaving example .saj file which is the tutorial project file looking into peak load shaving applications. Also note that the file extension for Storelytics project are .saj. Once we load this example case into the Storelytics BPC workspace, we can see the project name on top, which the user can redefine or edit. So let's make it underscore test. By default, File name is the name of the file that was loaded into the workspace. With the example case file loaded, we can see that under the app selection, peak load shaving application is selected. The other application that can be selected in Storelytics version 1.0 is scheduling application, selected through schedule. Mode allows users to choose how multiple applications are managed by the energy storage. Priority mode allows users to prioritize one application over the other, and the priority order is based on which application is selected first. So now if we select schedule, we see that the app priority is peak load shaving followed by schedule. Stack mode specifies that the user would like to stack multiple applications for the battery energy storage system on top of one another without prioritizing one application over the other. Under profile settings, user can specify the number of days as well as the time resolution of the load profile data available to the user for peak load shaving application. Currently, time step or resolution of load and or PV profile data supported by Storelytics ranges from 15 seconds to an hour. Storelytics also allows users to create templates in which load profile and PV profile data can be provided. To create PV profile template and load profile template, select PV profile template and load profile template boxes and click on Set simulation and create templates. Once the template files are created, we can see the status of file creation in the status log. In the status log, we can see that these load and PV profile templates for the project can be found under PV profile and load profile folder under input profile folder of store 
Analytics User Files folder. Also, the time step as well as the duration of Load Profile and PV Profile can be seen on the status log. Under the Global User Definition section of the Application Details section of the BPC module, users can provide additional requirements or constraints for battery energy storage charge and discharge. Users can choose the maximum charge and discharge limit for the energy storage system they are considering to design for the various applications selected by selecting Limit, Discharge, Charge option. The charge and discharge limit is specified in terms of KW rating. Storelytics also provides users with an option to equalize daily charge and discharge energy such that the battery energy storage has net zero energy exchange in any given day. This can be done by checking the box beside Equalize Daily Discharge and Charge Energy and specifying the daily start hour and minute and daily end hour and minute between which battery energy storage works towards neutralizing total energy imbalance. Note that the daily energy equalization in Storelytics is performed by first computing the energy imbalance in the 24-hour window and then dividing the energy imbalance in the time window specified between energy equalization, start hour and minute, and end hour and minute. Also note that Storelytics users can directly use the battery dispatch profile they created using BPC over at BSM by clicking on the checkbox next to Copy Output Battery Profile as POI Input Profile for Battery System Modeler. Now let's look into the Peak Load Shaving section under Application Details. There are two tabs under Peak Load Shaving section, a General tab and Dispatch Parameters tab. Under General tab, Parameters related to load profiles are specified. Under Load Profile, load profile for which peak load shaving application is to be designed is selected. In our case, we can select an example 31-day, 15-minute resolution data that is available in Storelytics User Files folder. Storelytics allows users to vary input load levels by specifying a scaling factor defined under Input Load Multiplier in percentage. For multi-year simulation, users can also specify yearly load growth rate such that the load grows by a percentage amount specified under yearly load growth every year. And planning year specifies the number of years to be considered in the battery dispatch profile creation using BPC module. Finally, under the general tab, selection of charge limited by discharge option limits the charging power of the battery energy storage to no more than the maximum discharge power output of battery energy storage. Under the dispatch parameters tab, Parameters related to energy storage dispatch are specified. Discharge threshold specifies the low power threshold in kilowatts above which the user would like the battery energy storage system to discharge. This is determined based on the limiting factor of the circuit. The limiting factors include, but are not limited to, the conductor amper ratings, transformer bank nameplate rating, etc. Discharge power ratio specifies the percentage of available discharge power at which the user would like to discharge the battery system when load is above the discharge threshold. Discharge threshold power factor specifies the power factor associated with the discharge threshold. This power factor is used with the discharge threshold to determine the KVA limit for the inverter system. Charge threshold specifies the load power threshold in kilowatts below which the energy storage system can charge. Charge power ratio 
specifies the percentage of available charge power at which the user would like to charge the battery energy storage when the load is below the charge threshold. Once we have all these parameters specified, we can then click Run. Once we click Run, we can see the simulation status in the status log. Once the VPC simulation computation is complete, we get a message in the status log stating, VPC simulation completed successfully. Once the simulation run is complete, users can click Generate Report to study the battery dispatch profile created based on the application they selected and the parameters specified in BPC. When clicking Generate Report, it is normal for Storelytics to show not responding. Once the report is generated successfully, the report is opened in Default PDF Reader. A BPC report PDF generated message is seen in the status log. Next, we will go over the report created by BPC module and explore various contents of the report. The first page specifies the various input specified by user during BPC simulation setup. Let's walk through the report that is generated once BPC simulation is complete for peak load shaving application. First thing of interest is on page two, which shows the energy and power need for the application. This is determined based on charge and discharge threshold that were specified initially. The monthly and yearly plots of real power dispatch profile is also shown here. The load power profile with and without the battery storage peak load application can be seen in page 3. App Profile Analytics on page 3 shows how often the battery system was required to participate through the time frame of the simulation. Page 4 showcases the energy and power need required for charge-discharge equalization application. Report also includes plots of power needed for daily equalization. Page 4 shows the full profile analytics, which includes all the applications selected for the simulation. This also includes the dispatch profile plot for the applications. Power histogram plot shows the distribution of the power at different levels and the duration of charge and discharge. For instance, the battery was discharging at level that was higher than 1000 kilowatt for more than 40% of the time. Similarly, the daily energy histogram shows the distribution of daily max charge discharge energy. Here, for example, the energy charge and discharge was more than 6000 kilowatt hours for more than 80% of the time. So you can see that Storelytics provides a comprehensive report for various battery energy storage applications. As you can see, Storelytics software provides highly detailed analysis report of battery energy storage dispatch for various applications specified by the user. It provides user flexibility to design and analyze battery dispatch profile, which can then be used for actual battery energy storage selection. With that, we would like to conclude this video providing overview of Battery Profile Creator Module. Please keep an eye out for additional videos describing other features, functionalities, and updates on the Storelytics software. We hope Storelytics and these videos will help simplify your energy storage needs. Thank you and have a great day.